Welcome back to episode 73 of All Things Greek, a series where I share recipes from my childhood. Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. This vlog was requested by Linda Thompson. So Linda, this is for you. Um, I thought why not start now on a Sunday morning. So it's a pretty humid autumn day. There's Lulu. You said you wanted puppy content. Lulu, where are you going? Come here. She's getting a haircut this week. She's going to look very different. And I'm ironing. So I'm ironing some shirts at the moment. I'm not the only one that likes purple in our house. Um, there's Edwina. She's just supervising the ironing. And this is everything that I've got to go. Whilst I iron, I have a little running joke with a friend of mine, Eileen, that we like to wear in our luxury shoes. <laughs> so I'm wearing my pyjamas and I'm wearing these Hermes sandals with a pair of socks. I bought these on a Facebook group um, when I was overseas, actually. And uh, yes, I've had them on the shoe stretcher and Nadia came to visit yesterday and I showed them to her and I'm like, I really need to get those shoes out. So... This is my vibe. This bit is the not pretty bit. Um, so today, it, as I said, it's Sunday. I've just had the last week off. I'm feeling very relaxed. I'm in my pajamas. It's like nine o'clock in the morning and I'm going to be cooking up a bit of a Greek feast, maybe for lunch, maybe for an early dinner. So I picked up this recipe off TikTok. It is like a chicken gyros and um, I have already prepared the chicken, but I'll show it to you and I'll take you through it. So. Yeah, a typical Sunday with me. Update. Are you comfy there, Lou? Keep your legs closed. Are you comfy? Yes. Okay. And what about you, little Eddie Weems? You comfy girl? Yeah. It's a good life, isn't it? <laughs> These are about to come off. Ouch! Okay, it's a bit later in the day and I am getting ready for dinner tonight. We're going to have the chicken eros and a Greek salad. And I keep looking over there to see if Mr. Addiction is looking at me. And I've decided to whip up a quick, quick tzatziki to go with it. Um, so any of you Greeks out there will be able to rate <laughs> tonight's dinner um hopefully it's tasty and if you've got any feedback i'm all ears i love to learn so for the satsiki we're going to use baramba full fat greek yogurt and i'm going to pop the camera down so you can see what i'm doing here so i am not a measurer i just cook to taste so i'm thinking what else are we going to possibly use this yogurt for so may as well put it all in I use the rest of it to marinate the chicken. So, Greek yogurt. Then, we need, I've washed this already, we need to grate this cucumber to add to the satsiki. And we'll save the fingers. Mmm, how good is that? Okay. Mmm, I hope you can hear that crunching. Next, I've got to drain this water out. So, good thing I kept the yogurt pot here. I'm gonna get all that extra moisture. So that it doesn't separate the yogurt. It's a juicy one. I can't believe how much water's in it.
Okay. Right. Now we need to add, we need some garlic actually, so I need to get that out. One moment. I like my garlic nice and thin, so I'm going to use a microplane and just pop in a clove. Well, the best part thereof, because this one's kind of two joined together. Yeah, that nice, fresh garlic there. of red wine vinegar. Splash of olive oil. And a good old teaspoon of salt. And then mix it together. I'm tempted to add lemon to this, but maybe a little later. Now you can add dill and mint, but the recipe I have says not to add either. There is our tzatziki. I'll put that in the fridge for later. All right, so I have got some food grade gloves because there's something about touching chicken. <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. Um, this is the pan I bought from Amazon. I can link it in the description box below. It actually comes with three different length spits, but it's a spit pan and it also came with two, two silicon basting brushes. So this recipe, it's a TikTok recipe. I will link it in the description box below. Um, it is chicken thigh. I'm going to show it to you. Chicken thighs, Greek yogurt, salt, pepper, lemon juice, olive oil. I put lemon rind in as well because I just make up my own mind. And garlic, that's it. And so now you can guess we've got to put all of that onto this pointy duva. Um, the oven is preheating to like a moderate oven, so 180. My oven's a fan forced. Uh, it takes about an hour and a half to cook for about two kilos of chicken. So um, we're having the neighbors over, they've got little ones. So I want it to be ready around 5.30. Well, 5.30 get out of the oven and then, um, you know, it's got to rest for probably 15 minutes and then chop it up. So I feel like it's 10 to four now. So good idea to get it out not too early so again I'm going to adjust the camera and show you how I do this I just want to make sure everything's coated and I'm going to kind of try and well, maybe that's not going to work. Maybe I'm making it too thick. I was trying to be a bit clever and space out the width, but I think if I just pop it and I rotate it around in a circle, it seems to be kind of thinnish in the middle anyway. So the outside bits will get cooked evenly. And I don't want to push it down too hard. Like I just want it to settle where it's going to settle because if it's too compacted, it'll probably take too long to cook. <laughs> it's very satisfying. 
It smells amazing. You can see those bits of lemon rind in there as well. Oh, it's, what's going on here? Let's kind of tear that bit off. And I'll just pop him on there somewhere. I feel like, you know, the chicken has been marinating for so long, it's really soft. So there will be bits that'll be a bit harder probably. Um, that I will just, I'll make it work. Okay. chicken. I think I've made it as even as I possibly can. Now all of this marinade is going to cook off as well as the juices in the chicken. It's going to land in this bowl and then I'm simply going to spoon it over it so it continues to um, baste in its beautiful beautiful juices. So yes I'm going to get one of my little shoe fly things out. I haven't showed you these for ages. So here's the box. You've got to have these in Tassie. I always keep some as gifts for friends and we just pop it on to keep the flies if there are any away from our chicken how good is that and any food basically you pop them on your table i'm gonna make the greek salad in this and i might just have to film it without talking to you and do a voiceover because or some music because the neighbors will be here and i'll show you the table setting just briefly I'm going to prep the veg for the Greek salad. So I've got cos lettuce, I've got Lebanese cucumber, red onion or Spanish onion, I've got a capsicum. I also have trussed tomatoes and I'm going to be adding calamata olives and some marinated feta. At the end, the dressing is simply white vinegar, as my aunt says, who is Greek? White vinegar tons of salt and olive oil. That's it. So I'm just gonna prep all these, pop them in the fridge so they stay nice and crunchy, and then we'll dress it a bit later.
perfectly good. If we weren't having guests, I would add more. Actually, they can pick it out. Then we'll do our tomatoes, and again, I think we will take the seeds out of these. But before I do that, this is going in the oven. It just goes in the fridge and we'll toss it all up together later. The chicken has been in the oven for about half hour. Oh yes, we're gonna do some basting. Let's see if I can make this work. So I'm just gonna grab some of this juice and pop it on the top. Love the camera angles, don't we? want to do, I think we need to rotate, sorry for the bad camera work, it's very hard, um, we're going to rotate this chicken around. Ooh, progress picture, obviously the top one is going to get the most cooked, but that's okay, we like some crispy bits that I've just been basting and leaving the door open for them to cool the oven down. Alright, so I have put the skewer in, it's coming out with clear juice. So I'm thinking that this is done. I'm just gonna scoop some of the juice over it, let it rest under some foil, and then we'll slice it up. Thanks. Salad is dressed. <laughs> olive oil, salt, white vinegar. You're not on it, it's okay, Alan. Um, olives and feta, and here's the meat all cut up. Mm -hmm. And chibis. <laughs>